Hello, my name is Digi. I'm mostly known for my escape room puzzles played by Mimeo and Kaios. Killing the cop will increase your friend's timer by one minute. Save the cop. Sorry, what the we'll fuck? Activate. It didn't work. Bro, I said it. Look at that, if I can. I've gotten some messages lately if I could make some tutorials on basic electrical circuits. So that is mostly what I will be doing on this channel. Uh, I do have some content from some years ago, but I will start posting more. So if there's any requests, be sure to leave it down below, and I'll favorite any suggestion that I plan on doing a video on. But let's get into the build. Alright, so I'm going to show off two ways to do this. Uh, we're going to make a furnace system that will automatically turn itself on when receiving ores and then also turn itself off when it's done melting whatever you input. So I have set up a simple backup battery um, circuit here with a medium battery and with that we are gonna output a small amount from this. So let's do 13 power out from the branch out here and let's get our furnaces I'll just enable free build so I don't lose the items and we'll put one two three furnaces down and we put a storage container on each or storage adapter as it's called um, then also get your conveyors down you need two of them one for putting items in and one for taking them out and also a chest like so then what you need to do is have power for each of them so we're going to use a splitter for that but we're also going to have a memory cell when all that is down you can take the power from the branch out of this one or your power source take it down to the first conveyor take the electrical pass through of that conveyor into the next one and the power from that conveyor over into the memory cell then run the invert output into the power in of the splitter and connect each output from the splitter to a furnace each. Then turn all the furnaces on. And now disconnect the inverted output. Now the furnaces are turned on, meaning they should also automatically turn on when it they receive power now. So if I connect the inverted output again, they all turn on right away. But what you want to do is connect the output to this button, like so. Then you want to set the uh, conveyors to uh, whatever you want into the furnace first. So we're going to do metal ore. You will also add sulfur ore and uh, HQM to this filter. I'm just going to do metal ore for the showcase here. And then you take the other one and do it for the melted version so in my case it's frags I'll turn them on and on the ore one you take the filter pass out and up into the set input of the memory cell and then you take the filter fail of the conveyor with the melted items into the reset of the memory cell and now you, all you need to do is connect the pipes so from the uh, chest we're going to do the output down into the conveyor for the ores the output of the conveyor into the furnaces and then the furnace output to the other conveyor and the output of that conveyor back into the chest. Now that that's set up, all we need to do is get some 
metal franks or metal ore. Let's do 300. Actually, let's just do, I think 60 is great. Let me kill this bear. So we're gonna do 60. Let's do 10 of this into there. So if I input 60 here, it should all go into the furnaces. The um, It gets split up by 20, so we're gonna have 20 in each. As you probably can see here, 20, 20, 20. And that will now melt. And when it's done, it will automatically turn itself back off. There we go, it turned itself off. If I check the chest, we have our 60 metal frags. If you'd want to expand this to, let's say, six furnaces, get your furnaces down. Place a storage adapter on each and place a splitter above them. Connect the splitter into the power in of the furnaces, like so. Place another splitter in between or wherever you see fit. Hook the power from the memory cell into the new splitter and use this power split into the other two splitters. That way you will have power go into all of them. Then from your power source, make sure you have at least 24 power for six furnaces. And then you'd want to test that by using the inverted output again like so they turn on turn these on should be enough these should have 10 each because that would divide it into three three and three which is what the furnaces need then disconnect the inverted output and use the normal output again and then for the piping which is quite simple only thing you need to do is disconnect one of these furnaces and take it into the new furnaces and then all the way back and into the conveyor. Now that should all be connected up, meaning if, if we now go in here and we take, let's see how much will that be? That'll be 120. Let's do that. 220. Let's remove 26. Now we have 220. Put that in. All of them turn on. We get 20 in each. And that will now all melt and then turn itself off when it is done. There it finished. And we should have all of it back in here. Mixed with the other 60, so that is correct. And we didn't even have to wait long. It took around maybe half a minute. All right, so we're gonna make a circuit as well with um, a small battery. So uh, let's say that your power source gives out seven. No, it gives out six, sorry. So um, that is less than a small battery. You could have 10, of course. But let's say you have six power, which is not a lot. Then you can do one furnace. Put a storage adapter on your chest and your furnace. You still need two conveyors. One to move things in, one to move things out. And also the memory cell. Then take your power into the first conveyor. You pass through from that conveyor into the next one and pass through from the second one into the memory cell. Take the memory cell output into the furnace and turn everything on. Take the first conveyor and set it to use ores. And the second one to use the melted version of the ores. Like so. Then what you want to do is take your pipe tool, take the output of the chest into the input of the ore one, and take the output of that one down into the furnace. Take the output of the furnace, into the second one, 
second conveyor and the output of the second conveyor into the input of the storage adapter. Then before forgetting it, you want to take the filter pass of the OR1 into the set of the memory cell and the filter fail of the melted versions into the reset. That is then going to do this. Let's just make sure we turn it on. I did turn it on manually now, but that is because I hadn't turned it on before. But you get the idea. If I take the OR out from this, it should automatically turn back off whenever this one fails. There we go. Perfect. There you have one furnace on six power but what you also could do is put down a second furnace a storage adapter on that get a splitter out and take the power from the memory cell into the splitter take the power down to the furnace from the splitter both of them increase this to 10 so that is if you have the battery directly connected you should be able to have two furnaces. Then you want to take the output of the first furnace into the second furnace and then back to the chest. Uh, no, not back to the chest, sorry. Back to the conveyor, like so. And then you can pass in again and make sure when it turns on that you also turn on this furnace. So now we have a small battery that powers two furnaces. If you do not believe me, let me demonstrate. Jesus. Okay, that was it. Nice. Uh, let's get a small battery. And to prove that a small battery can power the entire thing, I will disconnect this and I'll take the output of the small battery into that. It now turned on. I'll do this. It should turn itself on. There you go, and it's all being powered by the small battery. It's gonna run for one. Uh, it's gonna run for two minutes. And that is enough to melt all of these, so that's good. You'd also, of course, want your power source to receive power like that. So now this is never gonna go out of power because it's constantly charging. But now you have two furnaces on really really low power so there you go that was a showcase on how to do it with a medium battery with six furnaces as well as a small battery with two furnaces feel free to post any comment below i'll be sure to respond and if there's any questions or any suggestions for future videos let me know I'll see you in the next one.